All right, so welcome. Uh, let us proceed to see how we actually <coughs> create a course. We go to the site administration courses and then manage courses. And once you are coming into the manage courses, you may decide that you will create course in a particular category. For example, I'm actually creating a sample course in spring 2021, 2022, and I click on create new course. When it comes to create new course, you type down the full course name. The convention is that you try to keep your code and course code and also the title of the course at the same time. Let's say I'm actually doing a course programming with Java. And then I can put a convention here, CAC 412. which semester is spring and then 2022. So convention is very important. You can actually put the short name also, CAC 412, and then your code, CAC 412, spring 2022. And then it is come under this particular category. So please be careful when you select the category. It is the department and then this is the semester. Course start date generally we prefer according to the academic calendar, but I'm for the time being I'm actually selecting a date which actually indicative of making it easy. So I consider that within this time the course will start and the course will end at this date. But generally it will be followed according to the academic calendar. Then you write a course description there. This is you, you will generally have to provide the <coughs> course description which will be visible in the home page. So that means what I'm going to do uh, for the time being, I will actually go into Google and then I will actually take some, you know, code from when I quote text from the Google and let's say I take some course, you know, text basically so that I can type down those texts. Um, Java is a powerful. I just copy and paste from here for our simplicity. And uh, <clears throat> this is I'm actually typing here. And then I may also add some image here so that it looks nice. So I can actually go on to here and then choose image. And then I may decide this image is better so what I do I can simply copy the image and come here and post it you know, control V when you see it's a big size so you go into it is not a decorative only making the size around 600 is automatically resize and then course image file is the is the file that you actually have to select from a book image which actually I did, I'm going to show you that it's the image of a book, it's a Java programming book. I upload this, it comes here, and then course format generally always choose weekly format. Four weeks automatically, it's all right, but I will show you how you do it. Files, appearance generally default, files and upload is default, but you can remove, you can reduce the size to 20 MB. Completion tracking is always yes. There is generally no groups. Role naming, there is nothing. You can actually put some tags. I will actually talk in a different session. Save and display, that means I want to come back to the course. It comes into the participants. Now, one thing is very important that when you comes to participant, you click here and select an enrollment method. Enrollment method, you click when it comes to student enrollment method, self-enrollment, so that a student can enroll themselves. You can also have guest access allowed. You can set password, but self-enrollment, then you click on the edit so that you know you are setting something, allow student enrollment. You can pass on a key. Let's say CSC 412. This is the password to enroll. You can see here by clicking here. And then student can enroll. Enrollment duration default we keep zero days. 
never expires and we can set a date that within this time frame student can enroll so i can actually enable certain time maybe i can put march at least one month student can enroll maximum user that can be enrolled i said okay 40 student can enroll and then i actually have to give a welcome message for the student so welcome to programming with java course at cub lms platform let's make it best and then i save changes don't save so enrollment target is set and now i can click here to go to my course you see my course is here but only for you know it's basically weekly format four weeks automatically the weeks are defined and default section is announcement so what i have to do now i have to actually introduce so what i do first turn everything on once you turn the everything on you can actually click this is the introduction section so i can edit the section i can say here custom welcome to java programming and then i can actually put many text here this is a summary section welcome to java programming i can show you what happens in this now you see welcome to java programming and it nothing is there but see welcome and this is coming so when i do editing again here it is coming welcome to java programming this part actually is my introduction section so which i have shown here let me take you there now so what I'm doing, actually, I go into here and uh, I actually take you to my other platform, which is practically I'm using to populate different courses. So welcome to Java programming and actually uh, let me take you to this platform again. For example, if I go from here. I will show you that what I do generally every time. Now remember one thing when I was talking about the Google Drive, this drives you have to create a course code and then create different items for putting this in. like all the books will be here in the drives, the lecture materials will be here and the projects will be here. And you basically create the link with your respective courses. So what I'm doing, I just want to actually show you that what I do here, when I click, I get different sections and I can populate them very easily. So after doing this, I save the changes and then I can add an activity. Um, let me go back because I, I was looking for this and I got it already edit section again and now it is my dashboard you see here what I'm doing I just have a course already there so what I will do I'll try to actually create take some content from here and populate there you see here when I'm going to edit section this edit section <coughs> there are actually two aspects one is you it, it's it's actually created through HTML so what I have done actually, I show you that this HTML actually template I have created. So I just simply copy this HTML and then come here. I put actually, I go here and then come into HTML and then paste here. And then when I actually click here again, you see my contents are here ready. So I save changes. You see now my Java course already have this content, you see? So you see that I actually populated from an HTML my contents and I can actually now edit and change whatever change I want to make. You see, I can actually easily edit 
Yeah, I can edit and change. This is what I have been doing for last couple of years. I create my own template and I use that template for my creation of courses. So I'll let I save the changes. <clears throat> now I show you that what happens is I have to add a, like let's say I'm going to add attendance. So I click an activity and then I pick attendance and then I say attendance of CAC 412. I can actually put the same thing here as the description. Then display description, fine. I don't have to do grading because I can assign grade points also. I can do all kinds of competencies. These are extra discussions I have to do sometimes. Save and display. You see now, what I have done, I have actually not created any session here, but I can actually add a session. For example, today I'm giving an attendance at this hour from let's say from 18 to 18 to 22 yeah this is attendance i'm i'm allowing a student to record the attendance random password i can, i'm not doing anything add now i'm back to course and you can see here that attendance is here and if you click you will see the attendance but there is no student so you don't see any uh, you know question of giving attendance Alright, so now what happens when you come to week, for example, you can actually click here and edit. For example, you say week one, let's say 12 February to example, eh? 16 February. And then you may have your class date 12 February. And you can put days and dates and everything. I'm editing. Huh? All right, so this is my date. And now what I can do, I can actually edit this section also. Edit week. In this week, I'm saying the topics will be covered and so on. So on, and then I save it. So see now my week is already got a topic, so I can add an activity. Most of the time, the activities that we love to add is level. Because in level, I can actually assign different contents. For example, I'm saying level is 1.1 discussion on, on, let's say data, for example. And I can actually bold it just you know just the way you do control v and then i can actually let's say i want to put a link here from my drive so what i do i go into drive let me upload a book here file upload i'm still let's say i'm uploading a book okay and um, you see here what i do let's say i upload this one as a picture i did something upload it's a picture here and then what i do i Get the link now once I have this link I say only people added with the link copy link I can actually change the link done here Let me get share again. If this is very important that don't get the link, but share. This is still working. Let's say I get a link and I just show you how you do it. Already it is not able to share, it's fine. Get the link.
get the link I'm still trying but sometimes it is due to internet let me go from the other one for example I go into book here let's say this one I'll say get the link loading okay now you see you can actually prefer to have anyone with the link copy link and then once it is done you come here your ultimate repository enter labels then you click on the link and then put this link press copy in another window and then you don't have to you know there are many options you can do activity completion and other things competencies I will be discussing sometimes later but you see now discussions on data but if you want to oh why not it is a bigger font you may actually edit here again edit setting and then you may take this one and choose adding a small and then save you see here now it looks much better and if you click it will open the new things here you know you can see the book now you see it's better so what happens you are adding actually different items like this and then you can actually add a YouTube video like I let me show you another activity I do let's say I'm going into level again level is very commonly used 1.2 working with working with YouTube and you see here what I do I put here I put an enter and after that uh, let me say I go into YouTube read the page let me go to YouTube okay and then let's say I want to show you that how you do it. It's very straightforward. Let's say you put something. You put here, copy, and then come into here. Then you see the video. Insert, edit, audio video. Go into the video, put the video link here. And then display option you select. You may put the title, but it's not necessary. 500 and 300 is my preferred resolutions and I say insert video now this video is actually added here and save and return you see now this video is coming you see now the video is here so you can actually add the respective videos your own video in the YouTube channel and then put that video into this see, the font size again you can edit from here and you can actually make it better I always prefer this one hitting a small and then save it and then now this item is visible so you are actually adding different topics according to the topics you are adding anytime you want to oh I don't want to show this video to the student so you can actually hide them it's hidden now from the student so you can also enable them that show you can show you can actually have duplicate copies you can drag it let me show you for example I can make a duplicate copy here and you see now this one I can drag and bring it here and I can make slight changes I can make it faster for example I say okay this one is 1.3 and then I can put some other you know slide or discussions and then save it so sometimes I prefer to do this because it actually helps me copy but you may see a lot of space here that is then you have to edit here again you go into the editing you will come down you see here there is a space remove the space and save and it is better now you say it's better all right so I think this is the way actually you will be populating your courses all right so I think thank you for watching